So what we're going to be doing today, step number one, we're going to be trying out Lizard Spit. Uh, I am brand new to this product. Several people have told me about this for a while now. And uh, what this is, is a ultra fine scratch and scuff remover. And there's two parts here. We're going to be putting this on with a microfiber polishing cloth. You can see there's some pretty detailed scratches here. This actually had a sticker on it at one time. There's some fine scratches on here. And uh, this thing is just kind of a wreck. Like we said, we're going to see what this does. We're going to show before and after photos, video as well, of course, especially of this area right here. This is just a wreck. I want to see how this stuff does with this. There's some other fine scratches on here. We're going to see how well Lizard Spit does. So let's check this out and see what we got going on here with this awesome, highly recommended product. Let's see how great this stuff really is, Lizard Spit. All right, guys, so here we are with our Lizard Spit. This is a two-step process. We're gonna start with step one. And uh, what we're gonna do is we got a small amount here we're going to put on to our microfiber rag here and we are going to just work this in to the scratches right here and kind of always try to go in the same direction that the scratches are um, don't be afraid to apply pressure either that's what this stuff is all about um, you know, we're going to use some elbow grease here and don't be afraid to get this stuff on here too. I uh, probably should have put a little more on when I first started, but, uh, go ahead and get it on there, rub it in. Uh, that's what it's for. And let's, uh, apply some pressure here and get these scratches off this thing. Okay, now I'm going to kind of flip the rag over here, to at least get a clean edge of it, and kind of just start buffing this stuff out. Uh, this part here was not just a scratch. That was actually a sticker. I don't know if you could see that that was put on there. That's really coming off hard, so we might have to hit that particular spot one more time um, but like I said let's go back for right now and sort of buff all of this out um, like I said don't be afraid to apply pressure you don't want to just kind of rub this on you want to put some elbow grease in here and get this going I mean that's really how you're buffing this thing and getting a lot of this these scratches out and whatnot that's going to be huge so don't be afraid to apply pressure and work this product in uh, it's really what's doing the trick here okay so like we we're saying the worst part of this is definitely right here and uh, we need to really 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 hit this as hard as we can uh, I'm gonna actually plop a dot of this stuff right on there where that sticker was and uh, really try to hit this hard um, but that's that was a sticker that was put on there um, you gotta wonder what people are thinking sometimes, right? <laughs> I mean, to each his own, I guess, but if I had any advice to give out, it would be don't ever put stickers on guitars. Uh, but hey, to each your own. If it's your guitar, we're all about doing what you want to do on this channel with your guitars. So if it's, uh, you know, something you really feel that strongly about and, and you want to put a sticker on your guitar, hey, Go ahead, it's your guitar. But um, 
Me personally, I'm not really into that type of thing. And, you know, as you can see here later on, if you ever have to get this out, it's a problem. With something like this, try to go in circular motions like I'm doing right now. And again, just a lot of elbow grease and uh, constant pressure here. And eventually that sticker is getting less and less visible as we're going along here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get it into the light, but it's almost pretty much gone. So, so far, not to the finish line yet, but I am very, very, very happy with uh, Lizard Spit and what I'm seeing here. This is uh, polishing to a real nice shine. And uh, like I said, that's sticker residue that has been on there for quite a few years now and uh it is you know coming up like i said we're using circular motions and pressure here and um lizard spit does seem to be raising it up so that's pretty amazing and the scratches that were here are basically all gone too that's incredible okay guys so now we're going back and we're using step two of lizard spit this is your sealer we're just going to put this kind of all over the top of this uh, again everything might look like a streaky mess right now but what we're kind of going for here is working this in and then we're going to just buff this out just kind of think of waxing a car very similar procedure here <laughs> uh, in fact some of you might have heard some people use like you know mcguire's uh, polish that's actually four cars to remove scratches. I know several luthiers who've done that for years, and uh, it actually does work. Um, right now, I, I, like I said, I'm not done yet, but what I've experienced so far, I'm gonna have to say I prefer Lizard Spit. Uh, this is custom made for this type of thing, and um, whereas Meguiar's is you know for cars, and um, Man, it's just completely right here in this area. Stickers gone. Scratches are gone. It's like they weren't even there. Um, just incredible. Okay, guys. So here is the finished product. Look at that. Lizard Spit just took all of that. That's where the sticker was. There is just nothing there. It's like it never even existed. All those scratches are gone. Um, yeah, there are nicks and stuff that were here in the guitar, of course, already. Like right over here, natural aging. But we're talking about fine scratches and swirl marks. The scratch marks that were right here, along with where that sticker was. And then down here, there was a big one that we showed you earlier, just completely gone. Um, highly recommend Lizard Spit Swirl Mark and Scratch Remover here. Two-step process, very easy to use, very affordable, a great product. These are definitely new friends of the show. Check them out at lizardspit.com. If you've got any micro scratches on your guitars at all, and you want to get rid of them, I highly recommend this stuff. It's a two-step process, very easy to use. All you need is this and a microfiber cloth and a lot of elbow grease to buff it out, and you can get the brand-new shine back on your guitar. It's unbelievable, and they just did a fantastic job of getting this Heritage H157 back into way better condition than it was and we're going to get this thing back on the road keep on watching this channel we're going to have all kinds of work we're doing to this guitar to get it back into playing condition so stay tuned and thanks so much for checking in and joining me today you guys let me know what you think comment below find me on facebook at todd bb music please hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner and we will see you all again Stay safe and love your dogs. Take care.